It's the rock man back at it again to update my injury log. That's the way it feels recently anyway. Uh, I'm going to start it off with these accessory sets of leg press. Three sets of ten with, what is this, 16 plates or some shit? Who fucking cares? I did this workout last Sunday after deadlifts, bench press, and some other accessory crap. Um, Earlier that week on Monday night, I jacked up a rib on my left side. I was hoping it was just soft tissue bruising, but uh, it became clear later in the week that there was something more involved. And on Saturday, I had a deadlift workout at the house I had to abort because it was... uh, feeling pretty intensely painful. Sunday, I came back in and decided to give it another shot. A little bit wider stance. And what I had to do was sacrifice some better leverages of having my hips higher so that I could maintain a more vertical back angle and not aggravate the absolute fuck out of it. Uh, I worked up to 455. I did it for two doubles. I'm not sure why I'm missing a set of the doubles, but this was the first set. And they went pretty smooth. Um, Loading a lot of tension into my adductors, so it's really hesitant off the ground. Um, I'm not sure that it's a bad thing. It's just different. And currently, I'm not as strong in this position as I would be using more back. I think that's fairly typical. For the third set, I went ahead and loaded up five plates, took it for a ride, and it felt pretty good. But I cut it there. Totally forgot to crack the ammonia cap, and that's why you saw me do it before my last set of leg press. Um, This was this Saturday, after a couple workouts this week, uh, where I was babying a little bit. Uh, My fifth set of 10, on this exercise, this, well, it's one of the exercises I did. It didn't really seem to irritate it too bad. So I decided I would go ahead and try some sumo pulls at the house. Um, Again, I had to set up with a lower, uh, lower hips than I typically would which I feel like is making me sacrifice some power and lose some some degree of positioning because I just can't hold the position as well. Um, it takes so long to break the floor with the sumo and really pull everything tight before you lift off because it's not one of those positions you can just yank the bar off the ground with your adductors. That would be, uh, well... <laughs> Maybe it's for you, but um, no thanks on that pulled groin. So I worked up to five plates, was feeling pretty good. Uh, Just a little awkward and really having to force my knees out hard. I just haven't pulled sumo enough to know what's good, what's bad, but these were feeling all right. Uh, Just diminished from what I felt like they were two weeks ago. They moved smooth enough. The weight actually felt pretty light. I just resisted the temptation to work up heavier and decided this is where I wanted to stay to do a couple doubles. At first I had decided three sets of uh, doubles, but uh, during this set, it kind of became apparent I wasn't going to be able to like hype up or there was no amount of cool down that was going to allow me to get into good position to pull with speed again. So uh, after the first rep on this set, I kind of just decided, you know what, fuck it. I'll, uh, I'll just see how many I can get here before I start to lose position. And then I'll have a better idea where my strength level is at with uh, the injury and this, different position. So first and second rep were good. I was able to force my knees out. Third one, when I pulled into position, I felt my uh, adductors tightening up quite a bit. And you can see a little tiny bit of knee valgus. And that was really all it took for me to say, yeah, my form is starting to break down already. Um, But I'm happy with that, all things considered. 
And no, I'm not doing volume on deadlifts. I've always fucking hated volume deadlifts. It's just so hard to recover from the shit. And I have been hitting a lot of accessory volume on glute bridges. And then just recently I've switched over to the hip thrusters. This is what, 375 pounds for four sets of 15. Uh, I probably need to up it to four blues, but I'm using them to counterweight the bench. So next time I'll probably up it to four blues and just do four sets of 10, maybe five sets of 10. See if I can do five sets of 10 anyway. And I know they look ridiculous. They feel kind of ridiculous. That's why I don't show them that often, but these are excellent. I hope you guys are training strong. And as always, thanks for watching.